Hello there everyone, Carol from the Crafty Emporium. Um, I have um, been a bit busy. I, um, even though I've been poorly, as I started to get a bit better, I decided to have a little go at um, some eco dyeing. Um, because opposite me, there's a, well, in front of my house, there's a main road. I'm going to show you in a sec. There's a main road and then I've got a whole load of trees and some fields on the other side of the road. Right, you ready? So, there we go. So you can see, look, lots of trees. So I decided to go for a blow of fresh air um, and went with my plastic carrier bag and went and collected a load of leaves. Came back, <coughs> excuse me, came back and um, yeah, I had to go at some eco dyeing. So, as a result of that, I created a digital kit for you guys to use because I liked what I created so much that I wanted to share it. So, what I've done, this kit is now up on my in my Etsy store, and I've split it into four sections. All right, so I'll go through the first section. Um. Where I can prop them there stay okay so these are the pages um, that I've done so I did a PDF and not only did I do eco dyeing but I also did some um, I had to go at stamping some of the images spraying some of the images did them on coffee dyed papers and then I created um, from a piece of anagram to wallpaper um, I did this as the background page so I sprayed it um, with some of my ink sprays so as you can see there's a variety of different pages so that's the PDF this is set number one because as I say I've split it into four separate um, sets so that's set number one which is the PDF which has those five pages in it then also stack them up neatly then also I've done four JPEGs so that you can print these to any size you so desire of those four pages so as I say you can print them off as page size or you can reduce them and print them off slightly smaller the other thing that I did with these as well and it's more noticeable on these two sheets is that this side is smaller than this side so that if you fold this at the crease line here once you've chopped the extra off can you see how it's a lot shorter than the other side yeah um, and that's because then you can attach this to one of the pages and it therefore then becomes a pocket all right so that was my thinking behind that so I've done that with two of the pages where this side is slightly smaller so that it helps to create that pocket and you're not chopping off any of the extra images um but I love I love that one I just think that that has turned out beautifully so that's section number one set number one the pages okay set number two then is I then had a go at um, I bought a, a microwave pressed flour um, contraption so um, I had a go at drying some flowers in the microwave and I also got, got asked a lot as well about um, how I coffee dye my lace papers and so I decided to use the coffee dyed lace paper as the background for then the dried flowers on the top. So as you can see, so this set has got three pages as the PDF and you've got a set of journaling cards. You've got a pocket and you've got some tickets and you've also got a notebook cover and another pocket so that's set number two set number three I eco dyed the um, some envelopes and then I opened them all out so that and just took some photographs of them 
so then you've got the envelope so obviously you've got the background here which is where I took the photograph but if you cut them out because I made them whilst they were still made up it means that when you put these flaps back together you then create the images on the back of the envelope so that they all match up and I'll show you one in a moment so these are some of the envelopes that I created so you can't see it on here but can you see there's the dark bit there there and there so when you put the envelope back together that forms the leaf that was on the back of the envelope and then that's that one and that's that one all right so there's five envelopes in that set so that's set number three now then set number four I've done this one as an extra set and the only way that you can purchase set number four is if you purchase set one, set two, set three and also set four. Okay, so these three are sold individually and then this one is sold collectively with the other three. Okay, so I'll just go through set four with you and show you what's in set four now I've done these so that you can do these as flip pages um, you know so that you've got like a little extra note sheet and you can flip it up on your page <coughs> that was done on lined paper these leaves were done on graph paper and again you can cut those down to be individual sheets here and here so that you can do those as flips this one i i loved how this one turned out as well um so this one you could do as a flip sheet this one i've um flipped the image there's a little line here so that you can fold it in half and make a little notebook from it here's some smaller sheets done on lined paper um and as you see it's got those um Oh God, what are they called? Are they from a sycamore tree? Anyway, they're, they're the ones that you can throw up in the end, they spin like little, we used to call them helicopters. Obviously they're not, but that's what we used to call them as kids. Um, and I've left the, the holes on the edges as well. And I'll, I'll show you why I've left the holes on um, from the paper where the paper was ripped out of the book. Um, but that's lined paper, so that can be added as an extra sheet these images there's four of them on here so there's two of those and two of those and they could either be used as individual little note cards or put on the front of an envelope or a pocket this one is another one that i like it turned out really clear um and i did that on large graph paper and i've done those there's two of those so that they can be cut out as large cards they could even be stuck on the back of an index card say or the front and then this page i've done the same pattern but four times so this one you could actually fold in half and make it into a little um bookmark booklet or you could use them as individual bookmarks or these two here I've done longer so that they could be attached to the side of a page so that they can then act as a pocket on the edge of the page and then the last page in this set I've done two corner pockets and then I've done some large circles with my coffee dyed lace paper in and then some smaller circles with the dried flowers in them um, with the background being the lace coffee dyed paper again um, so with the circles they can act as a stopper to prevent something falling off the edge of the page or you could fold them in half and have them as tabs on the edge of the page now the kit itself is called English Fallen Leaves because it was just at the start of autumn so not, uh, as you as as you saw earlier the leaves are now sort of really starting to come off the trees um when i went and did my picking of my leaves um they were only just beginning to fall off the tree um and seeing as uh, i live in england it seemed right to call them english fallen leaves so that's the name of the kiss it's in my etsy store and as i say you can buy the three separate sets or you can buy the collective four sets all right now 
I have started, I haven't, I haven't finished yet because I can't be that productive at the moment um, with being ill and with everything that I've going on, but I have actually started to make a journal so that I can show you what it will look like. But you can see now from this page that this is a page in, in the journal and then I've just printed some paper, um, an image on the back. There's some more coffee dyed lace papers another one of the pages I'll just quickly flick through it'd be better to show you obviously when it's all done but you can sort of start to get an idea so here this one is going to be a flip up this one is um, a pocket this one's going to be in the center of the first signature There's the other side of the pocket there. Lots of coffee dyed paper, index paper, some um, paper from paper from paper pad. So that would be my first signature. And then the second signature, I started off with some stenciled paper. Here I've stuck some tickets on diagonally so that will become a tuck spot and then I'll put a quarter of one of the circles down here to prevent anything from falling out. This one I'll attach to this page to make it into a pocket. And then that was going to be in the centre of the signature. And my friend Jane is working with this kit for me as well at the moment so she will probably have a video up soon as well of what she's created with the kit so that's my journal as far as I've got at the moment with it just to give you an idea but I wanted to show you some of the elements that I've made up with the kit so far as you can see I've been, been a tad busy so there was one that I said to you, it was folded in, you could fold it in half and make it into a little notebooklet. So I've done the scallop punch at the top here and then just put some um, papers on the inside. Here I've just made some journaling cards, so I just cut these out and then stuck them onto this um, paper pad that I'd got um, to make those into some, some journaling cards. So I've got two of those at the moment. This is the one that I said made a little um, bookmark, bookmark, booklet. <laughs> That's quite hard to say that. And then I've um, used one of the Tim Holtz butterflies and put some um, glossy accents on it and stuck that on the front. But I've just done um, a little booklet with it and just attached some scraps of papers in there. This is one of the pockets and I cut the um, one of the cards and just cut the edges off up here to form a tag shape so that that sits inside of the pocket there. This is one of the envelopes and I went and stamped some images on there and also I stuck a stamp on there too to make it look like a real envelope but you can see from here look when you actually make it up can you see now how from those three flaps you can see this leaf and you can see this leaf here all right so that you get the full effect of the leaves on the front as well as on the back so another one of the pockets that I've made up that's the tickets I've just cut out ready this is a uh, one of the journaling cards with this dried flower on and I've added some um, golden stickles on there. I've put some glossy accents on here and then I've added some Tim Holtz words on there as well saying this is beauty in simplicity. There is beauty in simplicity, not this is. And then remember I said about um, I've left the paper with the holes on so that what I've done, you can see from there, so what I've done was I went along with my 
little tiny circle punch that I'd punch holes in for my tags punched holes all the way down where it was shown on the image and then just snipped little bits out to make it look as though that's now been ripped out of um, a notebook <coughs> excuse me um, and because it's got the journaling lines in it's got my little helicopters on there's a little shadow um, of the leaves that are on there that were on the back of this particular paper when I dyed it so that can now go in my journal as well as extra note cards or I could attach some washi tape at the top so that I can flip them up um, to be able to write on the back so that's my little introduction to my new digital kit um, English Fallen Leaves and I hope that you will go and have a look um, once I've completed my journal I'll come back on and come and show you what it looks like completed but I hope that you like it and I'll put the link to my Etsy store and to the kits down in the description box down below and thank you very much for your time and for coming to take a look see you soon ta -ra.